Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay. And today we're hopping into, um, uh, I, I what, is, what is the name of this game? Advanced War Tactical Fighters, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Duty, something, something, something. I <laughs> actually don't have the title right beside me. This one has a crazy name. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Am I supposed to be playing two? No, it is a two. Look, there's a two behind it. Oh my god. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. Colon. The early years. Um, this is a game in the book. A thousand video games. Let's play before you die. Hence, we are going to play it. I don't know anything about this one. We're going to learn together. Training. I guess we do need training. Although, we could just gamble into a new game. No, we always get trained. Whatever. Let's just... Oh, I think they're forcing us into the training. You know what? Actually, it's probably a good thing. I was going to say. I, I would have skipped it, but it's probably a good thing to get trained in a game like this. So, urban combat trainer will sharpen my skills. Mission objective areas represented in the yellow diamond in front of you. Okay. If your objective is not in your field of view, a yellow arrow will point you in the right direction. Proceed to your next objective, sir. So, leaving the mission area. Don't want to do that. And how do I turn around? Why is that not working? Oh, I see. Right. I always forget the PSP did not have dual analog sticks. So you have to use, like, uh, square, X, circle, and triangle to look around. To fire more accurately, All right. Yourself more difficult to hit. You can change your stance. Crouch down now. Tap the up button. From a prone position, you'll move okay. more slowly but be harder to detect. Just a question, why would they have up make you duck? Out of curiosity, I don't know. Um, this game, by the way, did come out on, like, Xbox 360, PS2... Well, actually, I don't even... <laughs> you know, I'm saying things about the game. I looked it up, like, a week or two ago. I was trying to get a copy on, I think, the Xbox or Xbox 360. It didn't work out, and I was like, ah, PSP, whatever, it's fine. Um, and, uh, hence that's where we are here today. Um, but I imagine with dual analog sticks, this game plays a little differently. But I am, you know, I'm looking forward to playing a shooter on the PSP. It's one of those things like shooters and stuff or a dime a dozen on the Xbox 360 and, you know, PS3 and stuff. But on like the PSP, you know... So, or especially like go go to like even older some like the Game Boy, you know. Is there even a single shooter on the Game Boy? I don't even know. So, oh, you can zoom in too. Okay, that's cool. And select your gun, the Scar L. Do you reload? Oh, there we go. I figured it out. Um, are we gonna get any more tips or is like is that it? Like, are we done? Bit level. <laughs> Whatever. I'm drained. Close enough. I wish you could do that in uh, actual army. You know, if you like go into the army and uh, they're like, we need to train you. And you're like, bah, ah, just, just throw me in. Strap a parachute on my back and drop me over the jungles of South America. That's where we're fighting these days, right? Is it? I don't know. In the 80s, it was always like. You know, American commandos going into South America, you know, fighting guerrilla forces to do stuff. Nowadays, I guess it's all, like, Middle East stuff. But, uh, anyway. Captain Mitchell, ghost leader, if you're receiving this, get to high ground, reestablish comms, blah, blah, blah. And off we go into the mission. Does, does the mission really matter? Here's our mission. Go into this place and kill guys who have red health bars hovering above their heads. Plant a demo to Oh, no, wait. We do actually have a mission. Use the R button to detonate C4. It just shoots our gun. We, do we have charges? Uh oh. I, I should have been trained. It just aims up and down. Huh. All right. Well, <laughs> we might screw this mission up. Already. But, oh god, it's actually pretty hard to aim in a uh, first-person shooter on the the PSP, but... 
Yeah, I think one, those two guys shot their third buddy. There's three guys here, and I'm pretty sure only two of them were shooting at me. I'm pretty sure they accidentally, or intentionally, shot their friend, their compadre there. Pretty funny, actually. All right, we're sneaking into the jungles. Totally alone. No cover. No tactical support. It's actually shockingly hard to like aim precisely, but I think it gives you a wide berth of uh There you go. Like as long as you're like broadly in the range of the person, you're shooting them. Which is somewhat satisfying, but I mean, of course, it's always more satisfying uh, to play on a game, uh, uh, you know, like a dual analog stick or even a mouse game. Um, yeah, you know what's funny is like, I, I've talked about this before, but in my younger days, I played like Quake and stuff on PC and I really did not like consoles. Really, I, I wouldn't say I was against them, but this is back in the day where like everyone wanted to play Goldeneye. And I was playing like Quake three arena and stuff and i i remember going to friends houses and they would crack out golden i was like this game is so much fun it's like the best multiplayer shooter game and i put the n64 controller in my hand and i was like you're joking right like this controller sucks you can't aim worth crap and like a four player multiplayer shooter game yeah that's a lot of fun um and i just didn't get it um i since have sort of changed my tune these days i feel like uh, playing local multiplayer is actually really fun, and it's one of those things that, like, all console games were were local multiplayer back when I was a, a kid, and I never really thought much of it. Um, but nowadays, the fact that no consoles have local multiplayer, it's like it really makes you miss and appreciate what you had back in the 90s. So it's like, yeah, local multiplayer shooter games are quite fun and enjoyable and are unique compared to games that are only online. Um, we have to go up here? Oh yeah, we do. And, but that said, I still feel like the N64's GoldenEye controls did suck in the grand scheme of things. I mean, you might have you might have enjoyed them and, and been good at them at the time, but if you haven't played, even if you liked GoldenEye, if you haven't played it in like 20 years, oh crap. Pick up an N64 controller, pop in GoldenEye, and try and play it today, and you'll realize just how bad it was. Even people who liked the game back in the day don't like the controls nowadays. I mean, not everyone, but it is a thing. Like, is it? And it wasn't the N64's fault. It was just like the first of its kind. You know, nobody had thought of dual analog sticks, let alone one analog stick. So it was kind of ahead of the game, paved the way for the rest of uh, all of you know shooters to come. Um, so. I mean, GoldenEye really is the granddaddy that without GoldenEye, you wouldn't have Halo and things like that. Uh, but um, I really did not like uh, console shooter games when GoldenEye was big. And even after GoldenEye, you know, like I really wasn't into ha the first Halo very much initially. Uh, but then like something changed. Um, I don't know if I got older and lazier, but... I sort of fell off of shooters on the PC and shifted. And nowadays it's like, I really, I'm it, just, I'm just so comfortable holding a controller. This guy's trying to crawl away. You're not going to escape me, buddy. Pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, nowadays I'm just so comfortable with uh, dual analog stick shooters that like, it's the way I want to play my shooter games. And I know that, like, the mouse is still more accurate. I haven't used a mouse to play a shooter game in literally decades. Decades. But I always think about it. Or not always, but occasionally I think about it. I'm like, yeah, you know, the mouse, it would be a lot easier to, to play this game right now with a mouse if I could aim. Like, mouse aiming is just better. Um, but I still don't want to do it anymore. I'm just... I'm at a point in my life where I'm like, I want to sit on the couch like a lazy bastard with a controller in my hand and use my, let my thumbs do the aiming. You know, I don't want to... Moving a whole hand on a desk while you hold a mouse? Too much effort. <laughs> Too much effort. Uh, this is probably why I just never warmed to the Wii as a system. I mean, I got to hold my controller and wave it around in the air. Yeah, so much work. I'm going to go have a nap, you know? 
Gonna go eat some McDonald's and lie down for a bit. You wanted me to wave a controller. I just want to hold a controller in my lap. Barely moving my entire body and let my thumbs and two index fingers play the game. I don't want to have to move move my hand and my wrist. What are you, crazy? Not for me. So yeah, I guess what we've realized is I'm an incredibly lazy individual. Or I've become one as I've matured. Um, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I like... I like shooters on consoles these days, and it is interesting, sort of, I haven't played too many shooters on, like, the PSP and stuff, so, like, what we're doing right now, playing a shooter with one analog stick is kind of quite different, actually. Like, I've, I've very rarely done this. I, I'll say it's not my favorite, and definitely you can feel the imprecision. Um, so it's like, as... As the controller becomes less good at aiming, auto-aiming has to improve. You know, like, this game has heavy auto-aiming. I know, like, people who play shooters on PC complain that, uh, on consoles... Because a lot of times, games are, like, cross-developed now, so you can play it on, like, console and PC. Like, the exact same game. Um, and if you do play... That guy. If you do play a game on... PC versus console. There's a lot more auto-aiming on the console than the PC. Um, some games let you turn it off these days, but just it's usually on by default because you need it. Because the analog sticks, you know, as much as I like them as a convenience factor, they are less precise than a mouse. You know, the mouse is the best, man. You just, you can't beat it. And uh, so it's like, there's a lot of like, uh, you know, auto-aiming and like snap to aiming and all sorts of stuff. Um, recon and demo, enemy anti-aircraft gun. But I'm near our insertion point. Are you hurt? Nothing broken but my gear, sir. I'll manage. Good. We need to dispatch a search and rescue team ASAP. But we cannot risk another aircraft until those AAs are neutralized. Our satellites are showing two possible locations north of the insertion point with enemy activity. Demo those guns and we're in business. Roger that, sir. I'm on it. Oh, do you demo thing? Hey, I can save my game. Go ahead. Save complete. All right. Raw. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfare. All these Tom Clancy games, the names are getting so long and so complicated that it's like you can, you just spell out different words with their titles. Um... Like, what are other Tom Clancy games? Tom Clancy's Double Agent, Tom Clancy... Who... Why was Tom Clancy so proficient at making video games? The guy... Did, I think the guy was just a writer, wasn't he? Um, I don't know why they keep slapping his name on games. It's... The Tom Clancy game... It's like uh, John Madden football games. It's like John Madden's just on... Madden has just become synonymous with football. I guess in the same way that Tom Clancy has become synonymous with, like... I don't know, special ops? Like, like, what genre would you even classify Tom Clancy as? Special Ops, I guess, is the best. This is all that I can come up with. Oh shit, we're out of bullets! Uh-oh. Um, hold on. Here a second. They did have other guns, right? Gar L. We have grenades. There you go. Okay. We need, these guys drop guns in there. Oh, they're still alive! <laughs> Game over. Restart from your last checkpoint. Okay. We did save the game, so hopefully he just bops us back to that. Wait, what? Oh, you can even go, like, totally prone. That's cool. Um... How the hell? So I'm pretty sure that the reason that we are... Okay, get up, get up, get up. The reason that it's, like, not letting us go farther... Um, plant demonstrator, select your grenades. Oh, wait, it told us how to do this. Use the R to detonate C4. Oh, whoops. Plant demo charges here. That didn't do it. 
Oh yeah, it did. Oh, okay. I appreciate the tip. I don't know what blowing up that truck did. Is it even part of our mission? We're about to die here. That's okay. We're just figuring out the, uh... Hey guys! Have a grenade on me! Thanks for killing me. Get to the main menu. No, no, no. Go back in here. Is there any point demoing this? Oh, wait. That's just wasting bullets. Use the R to detonate the C4 chargers. Do it. Huh. Well, I feel like I just threw a grenade at that truck. I don't feel like I planted anything. All right, let's just, uh, the way to go over here. Uh, abandon the, that firefight over there. Most Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 on the PSP. The most advanced Tom Clancy experience you will get. Feel like we're not going to pass level 1, but that's... Oh, look at all these guys. Oh! They got me. They got me, Chief. Okay. Let's give this level a real shot. Forget about blowing up the Jeep and stuff. Here, we're going to go in all sneaky-like. Duck down. Advanced training. Why are they still trying to train me? I told them I was... Plan of the charge. Select detonator from the explosives menu. Uh oh. You've detonated. Should have gotten trained. Maybe I should have taken them up on that old training offer. Sneaking jungle here. Going through a casual walk. We're going to assassinate some locals. Gonna go totally prone here. Sneak. Down. Like, what happened? Terry? Terry? Oh, God. Where are we getting shot from? I need to run. Better flee. Who can't find me, eh? Oh, now you're dead. What else? Boom prone seems to be the way to do this. Oh, there's another guy. I was about to stand up. Glad I didn't. Hello, sir. Command, this is Ghost Leader. Mitch. Huh. Easy. Saber six was hit, sir. We also have tons of ammo still. From the rest of the team, but I'm near but can we pick up their guns? Nothing broken but my gear, sir. I'll manage. Good. There's like AK-47s lying around here, but oh wait, AK-47. Those AAs are neutralized. Our satellites are showing two oh, possible I got it. locations north of the insertion point with enemy activity. Now... Demo those guns and we're in Ooh, business. Ooh, you can... I'm on it. Which... How do we do this? There we go. Cycle through guns. Sweet. All right. So I'm picking up the AK-47s now. That is actually going to be very handy, I think. Uh, to have like a whole second kind of gun. And here, I should uh, try out these. You can also switch between firing modes, I'm realizing. Like, you can go single shot or, like, full auto. Like, in single shot mode. That's cool. Maybe I'll leave the AK-47 in single shot mode, and I'll leave my scar. Oh, God, I alerted some people to my presence. I'll keep my, uh, scar where is it? In auto mode. Sneaking and skulking. I don't know why you wouldn't. Map seems littered with bad guys. So you probably just always want to be, like, kind of semi sneak around. Oh. Okay, here we go. Trying to fire in bursts to preserve ammo. 
go. Not too bad. I guess I haven't taken a hit yet. We went from sucking to ruling. Like our map here. I don't want to go to the right, actually. Okay, maybe now we don't need to skulk. We're good to go. Oops. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Like, for being on the PSP, this seems like a decent enough shooter. Um, like, certainly, I, I would say it's not... You're not going to get the same experience on the PSP you'd get on, like, an Xbox or something like that. But, like, if, if you like shooter games, like, you had a commute or something, you just wanted something to be able to, like, play on the go, um, I don't see why something like this would not be a good thing for you in life. Um, I don't know if you would, if you did have an Xbox at home, I, don't, I couldn't imagine you playing this instead of playing your Xbox. You know. Um, but that's a, that's a different story altogether. Like, nowadays it's kind of a non-issue, I feel like. Um, because if you like shooters, you have a Switch and you just play, like, Fortnite or the latest Call of Duty or... I don't, I don't know what shooters are on Switch, but I'm sure it's, like, they're just as good. Uh, or close to, like, the Xbox 360 level and stuff. And maybe even some of them are approaching, like, Xbox One and stuff. So I, I'm sure you can get, like, really good first-person shooters these days. You don't have to worry about, like, compromising uh, the gameplay. But back in the day, man, when we just had, like, uh, you know, we, we were still coming out hot off the heels of the Game Boy, really. It wasn't that long before the PSP, you know, where, like, the Game Boy was, like, not even as powerful as the NES, it's, like, you know, within 10 years while you're playing the PSP. Like, this is pretty crazy, actually, to think about. Let's try uh, out our single shot AK. Here. Oh, God, it has no accuracy. It sucks. Okay, that, that gun is garbage. A close-range gun. Oh my god, the AK, man, the AK was like going boom, 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 wasn't hitting anything. Meanwhile, the scar, just a couple of shots, and it took care of business. I right, turned the AK into full auto mode, so that we can, uh, you know, just go crazy with it. But, uh, in fact, I'm going to save my game, because I think we're doing well. Go ahead and save. Yes, save complete. Looks like Gorilla Field Headquarters set up here. Be careful, Mitchell. Going to stealth mode. God, I'm like getting dinged up quite a bit. I think I saved right before we got to this point. We die, maybe we can just load. I don't know if you heal or how the health works in this game, but... Yeah, I seem to be gradually gaining health back. Good. My little uh, heart meter that is totally not moving is just a totally static image. There's the guns that we gotta destroy. Is there a guy in the gun? There was. Look at that! Alright, now. Stop skulking. Um, I can't get in there. How about uh, we just uh, throw a grenade in there again? All right, grenade time. Five grenades. Pretty good. We're still showing what looks like oh, that hurt me. Plant a demo charge on it, and we should be clear to send in the search and rescue chopper. Yes, sir, General. Moving out. Oh, wait, did I get it with the first 
go? I guess I did. Okay. Thing over here. Wait, is, what's this blue one then? I want to investigate the blue thing. It might be health or hostage or something else. Cool. I'm sure he's not actually like a bad guy. He's like he's a bad guy, but he's not a bad guy, you know. But I do what you gotta do. Ooh, a, a light machine gun. What weapon am I using? Using a light machine gun. Turn that baby into full uh full auto. Yeah! That's my gun! So I do like that they're allowing you to pick up just random guns. Like, oh no, wait, I'm using the AK. Wait, what? Where'd the... Wait, where'd the light machine gun go? Oh, it was just here in the woods. Around here. Oh, there it is. Uh, press down. Okay, now I got it, right? Yeah. Um, oh, I picked it up. I see. You can only have one. You can have your scar, then you can have one other gun. I see. So I traded the AK for it. So. Oh, that's sweet. Yes. Yeah, so I do like that they're letting you pick up random weapons. It's actually pretty cool. Um... Ammo box. Well, the yellow arrow is telling me to go to the left, so we're going to leave the ammo box for now. If they want me to destroy it, they'll tell me. Um, there's a lot of modern games. Not, not a, a lot, but it's like there are some where it's like you kill bad guys and they drop guns, but you're not allowed to pick them up. It's like you do earn guns and get better guns and stuff, but like... You're not allowed to pick up just any weapon that any bad guy happens to be using. And one thing I always liked about Halo is it's the first, uh, oh god. It is the first game I remember where you could just pick up any gun. So it's like if you saw a bad guy and he was shooting at you and you killed him, you could pick up his gun. So it was now, it is now fair, fair game. Why am I not killing these guys? Okay, hold on, we need a grenade. We're gonna blow up their whole truck. Bro. I kill him? No, he's still alive. Bastard. Okay, let's get him with the scar then. Where are you, you dick? Oh god. Okay, get up and aim at him. Quick, before he kills you, Jesus. I think I was like firing over his head on that one. I'm gonna use my awesome light machine gun though. It's like massive gun with like a hundred bullets. Alright, oh. Bad guy. Bad guy. It's time to kill him. The accuracy on this thing is not tremendous. <laughs> I was gonna say, we used a whole clip and we barely dinged him. Okay, we gotta go up. Oh god. Okay, so maybe the scar is actually the way to go. Like, these other guns are kind of cool and stuff, but nothing beats a scar, you know? The old saying goes, a light machine gun is fun, but nothing beats a scar. I think I just peaced out, so, you know, we'll let him go. Another cold-blooded killer. Somebody doesn't want more in their life. I'm obliged to oblige him.
Do a thing. Maybe we're going taking the peaceful route here. Solid snake style. Not gonna be too peaceful to these guys. These guys we can't dodge. I get you, buddy. Watch out for Gaming J. He'll get you. And the scar. Okay, the scar is where it's at. I, I like feel a difference when I shoot this gun. I don't have to worry about unloading a hundred bullets and not even raising them. This guy's just like, what happened to my buddies? Oh god, I got assassinated. I switched guns by accident. Load. Up. I keep trying to use my second analog stick. So I'm playing this on an emulator with a PS1 controller. I keep trying to use a second analog stick by uh, accident. And uh, it is. Not oh, I forgot you can zoom. Hmm. Should actually try and do that. Uh, anyway. Um, here's a grenade. So, you know, there. Recon and demo complete. The anti-aircraft guns are history. Good work, Mitchell. I'm giving the okay to send in the rescue team. They should be arriving at the village where Saber 6 went down in about... Wait a minute. Guerrilla Prevent troops are heading toward the crash site, troop moving troops. up the road from the south. Stop them, or the rescue team is going to have its hands full. I'm on it. All right. Wow. I'm going to try using the machine gun, but we'll zoom in with it. Let's see where we're supposed to be going. Oh, look. I see. So we want to cut them off, I think. That'd be the idea. Down this way and try and cut them off when they round the pass. Oh, what the? Sorry, bud. This is not a good place for you, though. Okay, so where are these transports? Yeah, see? I used my brain for once. The round and the bend. We'll get into a good position. Position I like to call the kill zone. There's another video game. Pretty much every, every saying or phrase you could have thought of for a game or for combat... People have thought of. Can I shoot the tires out? It's totally. They ran over one of their guys, by the way. Did you see that? Um. See ya. Fire a few into the, the tail end of the truck for fun. Am I supposed to use grenades on them? I don't think they're stopping. Okay. Did we, did we just fail the mission? We just failed that mission. Got the reinforcements. You'll never secure the crash site now. Game over. Okay. Try it, ghost leader. try it again, I guess, Guns from the, the checkpoint. Work, I'm the okay I only have one grenade order. left, though. I don't even know if that's they enough to destroy the trucks. Saber six went down in about... Wait a minute. Guerrilla troop transports are heading toward the crash site. Moving up the road okay. from the south. So let's uh the got one grenade. We got one shot at this. Maybe we could even uh, go this way actually. Where are they on the map? Coming around the corner. Yeah, see there's like a guy running alongside them. I'm pretty sure he uh, got run over. Okay. Hi. Any chance you want to stop? <laughs> what do I do? Uh, okay, hold on. Let's switch guns. Die! Oh, I'm about to run out of scar bullets. Uh oh, that's not good. Yeah, hold on. And to, like change guns while keep up running with this thing. All right, here we go. Yeah! Oh! 
what? <laughs> we just ran through some guys. I wish I had something that could destroy these things. Should it be aiming at the tires? Yeah! <laughs> uh-huh. These bulletproof, uh, these cars are bulletproof. Eh? Those tires are getting bullet holes, they're not stopping though. Alright, well, I think we've reached the end of, uh, Ghost Recon Advanced. Tactical fighter. Oh, we just got run over as we left the mission area. What a way to end All right. Well, you know, I don't know. Maybe we needed more grenades or something Maybe this was ex all explained in training and we failed But uh, I think we've reached the end of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 colon the Clinton years uh, this is one of the games of the book of thousand one video games just play before you die um, I would say if you own a PSP and you like shooters, why not? Why not you? Uh, this game seems decent enough. Um, as far as the shooting mechanics went, I mean, there's heavy, heavy auto-aiming, but it's because you don't have dual analogs. Um, there were satisfying shooting mechanics, despite that. Um, and it felt like they had, you know, they were trying to give you complex missions. It wasn't just go and kill everyone from A to B. You had stuff to do. Um, so if you're a fan of Tom Clancy, if you like Ghost Recon stuff and you wanted something portable back in the day, you might have checked this out. If you own a PSP or you really like PSP games, you might want to check this one out. I would say, though, I know this game came out on other consoles, so, like, if you do want to, like, play it, you probably should just check out those other consoles where you would have two analog sticks. It probably plays a lot better, but that's just a blind guess on my part. What do you guys think of Ghost Recon here? Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Um, did you play it back in the day? Did you play it on PSP? Did you play it on Xbox? Do you have tips, tricks, anything like that? Feel free to comment in the comments down below. And as always, if uh, you've been enjoying this 1001 quest, be sure to tune back in soon for another video. Until next time, my friends, I'll just be here being given special ops by the government. And you guys take care of yourselves. Ready, guys. Peace.